second excess of love. Then my mind brought itself into the maternal womb and remained stupefied in considering a God so great in heaven, now so annihilated, restricted, constrained, as to be unable to move and almost even to breathe. The interior voice told me, Do you see how much I loved you? Oh, please, make me a little space in your heart. Remove everything which is not mine, so you will give me more freedom to move and to breathe. My heart was consumed. I asked for his forgiveness. I promised to be completely his own. I poured myself out in crying, but I say this to my confusion. I would go back to my usual defects. Oh, Jesus, how good you are with this miserable creature.